Um, I share an office with about 80 other people. Um, I, my team shares a laptop if we want to take a laptop with us um, when we're traveling. We have one laptop to share between four of us. Um, we share a printer. We have one printer for 80 people, I think. Um, and we share a kitchen for making, making coffee and using the microwave, things like that. Well, we share tools, uh, which is a bit of a bugbear at times because some people like to keep certain tools in good condition. Some people, if it's not your tool, just sort of borrows, get used and forgotten about or left, especially in their toolbox. Sometimes you get to find it. If you can't find it in yours, you'll find it in someone else's. I'm one of the ones who like to keep things where they should be. Every tool has a home. I mean, my whole space is shared. Basically, I have a, a little you know, area, desk area, but it's all open space. I mean, even the chief marketing officer, off, even the chief marketing officer who, um, you know, runs the marketing department, um, I run the corporate marketing piece of it. He's, you know, runs the whole department. He's literally right in the corner and um, open space and, you know, he hears all of his team and I'm a terrible cube mate because I have a loud voice. So I'm constantly apologizing, but Everybody knows everybody's business. I'm not so sure that's such a good thing, but. The advantages are it's, it's nice to be with people. It's nice to be in a social environment and to have people to speak to um, and to ask questions and ask for help if you need it. Um, I think the disadvantage is that everybody has a different idea of comfort. I think everybody likes the temperature to be either hotter or colder than it is. Some people like sunlight, some people hate the sunlight and close the curtains when the sun comes out. Um, some people like noise, some people can't work if there's any noise at all. So I think that makes working difficult sometimes in that environment. Cost, uh, advantages of cost and space. If every individual have uh, their own tools, um, you'd have tools everywhere. Um, but it's also respect as well. If you can use one area of tools and respect those and make sure they go back, then everyone can get along. So the advantages are that, that literally people do know what, what you're working on fairly quickly and a lot of quick conversations can happen and decisions can be made because sort of everything's happening together. There's also a lot of creativity that comes out of it in terms of problem solving or coming up with unique you know, approaches to something because people are, are hearing what's going on and they'll and they also make connections for you that maybe you, you know, haven't been able to make because they're working on something else that has a thread to what it is that you're doing, but you're not aware of it. So that's the advantage, I would say. The disadvantage is that it gets, it can be extremely distracting. I have to either come in early or stay late to do sort of big strategic thinking in terms of just having some quiet time to really think through, you know, putting together a, a, a deck, that's what we call that in America. A PowerPoint deck or a presentation or something like that. I need a little bit of quiet time. <laughs>